Welcome back. In the previous video, we installed React and ran both our server and the back end at the same time. So what we are going to focus in this video is to configure our application with Redux. So let's get started. So before we continue, we need to install a couple of packages to make it done. So let's head over to our terminal and cd into front end and you are going to install a couple of packages for our application. So first, let's install what is called John add Axios to make our HTTP request to our backend and we need Redux, Redux and React Redux to manage state. And we need React Router DOM to make routing, and we need Redux Redux dash dev dev tools dash extension to able to visualize our state inside our browser, and we need Redux tank to make async call or dispatch our action inside our Redux action. So I think you're good to go if you are lacking like anything else you come back and install. So let me briefly explain what is Redux. In brief, I think you guys know what is how it works. If you don't, let me briefly explain what it works. Redux bases on three concepts that is the action, reduces, and your store. All right. So action is nothing but a causer, something that causes a change inside your application. For example, if we make HTTP calls, it's an action, right? Because it causes something to change. When you make HTTP call, for example, you can get back your data or an error. So what causes that is called action. And the reducer is what comes back, the, the pieces of the data, inside your application all right so when you make a request for a server you get something back right and that thing is what is called a reducer so reducer is a pieces of data that makes up of your application and the store is a sense is a central place where all your reducers mix up the application so with code you better understand how it works so let's get started so the first part is called you're going to make create our what action creator okay and this is how i want to manage my file so inside my slc let's create one folder called redux i want to have all my redux logic here and i will need three folders one is my action actions and i will need my reducers to here reduces and i will need my store okay so Redux is a nice tool to use, but the setup is somehow a little bit complicated, but to so bear, bear with me. And as soon as we finish the configuration, the rest will be flowing like that, to be very easier and make more logic in the application. So the setup is just pra keep practicing and then you'll be familiar with the setup of how Redux works. So inside my action, we have two actions. So let me create one action for books. And so here for books, let me create one file called book action book actions dot js all right so action creator is nothing but a function that causes a change okay so but since we're making http calls here sometimes before our reducer dispatch an action to call state. Our action has not finished making calls. So in that case, we get some bugs in application. That is why we install what is called Redux Thank to able to make an async call inside our dispatch. So let's see how it is done. So let me click on function. Action creator is just like a function, it's a function, right? So the function name is called, let me make it create book action. All right, and this is a function call. And what do I need to be able to create a book? I need a book data. Remember, 
the book that when you go back to our postman when you want to create a book what do i need you need this body so we need to pass that one from our front end and then send it to our endpoint to create the book so here this is how action creator works so instead of returning the, our logic here we want to pass our logic to another function here and we call this one dispatch and this function takes in one parameter called it's a function this part is a function right so this is available to us because we install redos tank so here let's dispatch an action type so type indicate what kind of thing that you want to do so when a reducer sees that some action type has been triggered it will quickly update the state of your reducer based on the payload coming from the action type that we have created so the first action type is called create book create book request because when you start making a request the first action is going to make request right so the action is called create book but i don't want to hard code it this once anytime so i want to create one file and export all my constants that's what we normally do so inside my action um, folder let me create one file called action types okay and we are going to have a couple of action types here so i want to copy it here and paste it and i'll make it available inside my github repository so if you want to copy and paste them we want to type them from ground root so we are making use of this one <coughs> sorry guys <coughs> So the first one is we export the cons, create book request, and then a variable. So when you anytime you import this one, it means we're making use of this. Alright. So inside our book action creator, instead of this one, I'll just import my constant called create book request. And I think I have auto import create book request. Good. Now I have it there. Alright. So I have my first action. So next let's make the actual action to create the book so here first of all before you can create a book you need to pass in a content type right but by convention so by default express pass the incoming data as JSON. so you don't need to pass in by, by by let me say by convention or to make your life easier in some ways or to be very familiar with the syntax Normally, what I do is I pass in my config and pass in my content types. So I will say my cons here called config and object. And here I will specify my content type. Content type. Content type here as application slash JSON like that and we are going to make calls to our endpoint to create a book so we have to import my axios we installed so let me import it here axios from axios like that so here i want to make http call so let me call this one response equal to so i have to mark my async call here as an my reaction this part as an async so that i can make use of a wait here inside my core so i wait axios dot post because i'm making post requests and this one take three parameters the first one is your url and this one will be the data that i want to post and then your config right so the url is what slash api slash books so you'll be asking, this is a URL, the endpoint, but you'll be asking why I didn't bring in this absolute path. So for us, we are inside a right application. I want to make a process. So let me head over to my React application and then let me have a proxy to that. So that instead of writing the whole of HTTP slash semicolon, I want to make use of this path here inside my application. So let me head over here and then anywhere inside your JSON file, let me add a proxy. And the proxy is HTTP semicolon 
localhost semicolon 5000 so with this one I don't I don't need to write the whole you the path here right so here the next parameter it needs is called the data the book data is coming from the request and our config okay so I prefer to do in this way to be familiar with how it works because sometimes you need to pass in some authentication before you can create a book so if you have this one and next and when you, when you want to make a new authenticated request you need to pass in your bra token here and you can make the request all right so now we assume that when you make this request everything is successful so let me destructure what is coming back so i have on that i have data from the return value of this one all right so now i can dispatch my data so i told the action is like causing data or well, as you can see the first one is what the create book it doesn't bring in in data yet and then this um call is causing some change making requests to what to create the book so now when everything goes on well i will specify my action creator called create book success right and when success i have a payload it can be anything you can see data or whatever but by convention we normally use what is called a payload the payload is what is coming back from your action call and it's data right so we are going to handle three actions attempt to create success and then failure so let's see that if something goes wrong we have dispatch create book failure fail sorry create book fail auto import and then i will turn my payload as but i want to have a nice error syntax right so i will say on the error where is it oh sorry i well before that because you're making use of async await i have to wrap my whole thing inside my try and catch so inside my dispatch here let me cut everything from here because i want to handle error here and then let me bring in my try and catch auto import and be between my try let me paste everything here right and then where i'm handling the error let me cut the dispatch from here and then place it inside my catch sorry guys for this cut and paste so here we want to return the payload because when something goes wrong we can get back the error data so on the error object we are going to check if there's a response on that okay response okay if that's the case then we want to grab the error response dot data dot message so this is a path to get the reasonable or let me say friendly error okay so now we have it let's export this one export create book action so we are good to go now our action has been created the next video we will focus on the reducer creating reducer for our book